I'm always posting new tutorials and content, so go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button so you'll be notified of all the new content that we'll be releasing shortly. To get started, we're going to cut about 24 inches of our thread, and this is available on the softflexcompany.com. So you have a couple options here. You could either use a bead stopper or just kind of measure out your thread and keep it on the spool, and this will act as your bead stopper. We're making this cute little earring, and it's very versatile. You can use them for pendants. You can make them as an, into a bracelet. So many different design opportunities. You can work on the spool just to act as the bead stopper. So go ahead and thread your needle. Pick up one check glass, one seed bead, a check glass, and a seed bead. And you're going to alternate that pattern until you have four of each. So if you start in a green bead, a check glass, you're going to finish on a size 11 seed bead. So that's what it should look like. Then we're just going to slide it down towards the end of our spool. And what's nice as well as working on the spool is when you run out of thread on this side, instead of adding more, you could just kind of pull it off of the thread or the spool. So we have our needle. We just threaded them this way. We're going to go in the opposite way. And we're going to pass back through all eight of your beads. Your four check glass as well as your four seed beads. Once you have all of them on and you pass back through, it's going to kind of look like an unfinished circle. So we're going to pass through again, and this is just going to really reinforce that center. So we're going to go through a few times. Until we're ready to start designing the next part of our. So I have my little component nice and secure. I'm going to pick up three seed beads, and pick up three seed beads, the little rhinestone bead. And if you don't have the rhinestone bead that was in the Jesse James bead mix for exotic blooms, you can use any bead for this. And I think it's about a six millimeter, maybe a little bit larger than a six millimeter. And if you have a four millimeter, you'll just um, maybe add in another seed bead. So we'll have three seed beads, our rhinestone bead, and three seed beads. So we're exiting right here. We're going to crisscross to go in this way. We'll just go ahead and pull. And it's going to nestle right into our little component that we just made. And tension is key, so just make sure I give it a Gentle tug will um, secure everything that we just put on. So now we're coming out of this green bead, and this is going to be the bottom of our necklace. So this is where we'll connect our charm. So we're going to pick up 13 seed beads. We have our 13 seed beads. We're exiting this way. So now we're just going to go in the opposite way, back through that green bead and slide, we'll have our little loop. And when we go around the other components, we'll be using nine seed beads, but the reason why we wanted 13 was just to give it a little bit of room to add your dangle into. We're gonna reinforce, and since you have the 13 beads, it's okay if you can't get them all on the needle at the same time. Just maybe go as many as you can, two or three. So we'll reinforce, and then we're going to go back through our green bead. And give it a, a pull. And then you can test it to see if it's secure enough. Um, it's up to you if you want to go around again and re-secure um, it. So we're coming out of this green bead. We need to go to this one. So we're going to go through that little C bead on the side and another green bead. And then give it a little pull for tension. And we're going to pick up nine C beads. Have our nine C beads. 
we have our green bead, so we're just going to go the opposite way. So we'll have our little loop. And then we're just going to go back and reinforce it. And we're going to do that for the next two component. We have it reinforced. We're exiting right here. So we're just going to go around the little seed bead and uh, green beads until we get to the top here. So we have our little component reinforced and you can tell how firm it has become um, once we've gone back through and reinforced everything a few times. So we're exiting right here. We're going to go back through this little top halo in the green bead to we've added nine beads. So we're going to go to the fifth bead. So we're just going to go up our little pattern here to the fifth one. So we're at the top of our little component. We're going to add on eight more seed beads. We have our eight little seed beads and we're back through that fifth bead. So we're exiting this way. We're going to go in the opposite way. And just make sure you just go through that fifth bead and pull. And we'll have our little, and this is where we're going to attach our earring. So we're just going to go back through and reinforce this a few times. Once you've reinforced your little loop, we're just going to go back down to where we originally started on the green beads. So we've reinforced our little component and we're back to our green beads where we originally started. You have a couple options. You can go ahead and tie a knot on your thread and just pass it back through a few more times. Um, or this earring is really secure now. If you didn't want to tie the knot, you can just go ahead and weave back through your main um, green beads here and that will make it nice and secure. Keep passing through our green beads until it is nice and secure. We have everything secure. I went ahead and removed the needle. And then I'm just going to make a couple knots on my thread. I have a couple knots on the thread. We're just going to restring our needle. And then we're just going to keep passing back through these green beads. And with that knot, you'll hear like a little click on it, and you'll know that your knot is nestled in one of these beads. So just go around a few times with the green beads. Once you have passed back through, make sure it's the correct thread and not the one still on the spool. Just give it a little trim. And then with the other tail, you're going to do the same thing. So we have our little component. We trimmed off our threads. And you can tell how secure it is from when we originally started with it. So now we'll just grab our jump ring and our little findings. Just gonna open up our little ear wire and attach it to the top of our earring. We'll just give it a little close. And you can make earrings just like this and not put a tassel on it. And you would just use the nine beads. Um, this would also be really super cute as a pendant as well. Now we're just going to open up our jump ring. We're going to give it a slight twist. We're going to add on that little Tierra cast blossom charm that was in our design kit. We're going to slide it over our jump rings. We're going to slide it over our seed beads and then close. And we have our beautiful bead woven earrings using the Softlex design kit or exotic blooms. And we just added in the seed beads and seven millimeter chalk glass.